What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Continuing on with my Villages series here in the Backyard Simulator. Third round of today. Um, played two prior. Did some talking in the first two, so um, at this point splitting it up in between nine, um, nine holes instead of doing a full 18 hole round. I feel like I have to kind of um, repeat some of the stuff I've been saying. So I'm not going to do quite as much talking in this one as I did the first two, just because I feel like I covered stuff. Um, and at a certain point I start forgetting um, between the different videos when I split them up all within like a two hour period or so. Start forgetting which things I did say and didn't say and if I already said it in this video or I said it in the one right before, you get the idea. But as for this video, we are doing the third and final course here at Bonifay Country Club, which is a 27-hole championship um, complex located at 10035 Pinellas Place in the village of Ferdinina in the villages, Florida. Um, so the whole reason why I did this one, one, I really like the villages courses. They have some awesome courses. So I wanted to, I started the series before I did my trip um, to get a little bit of an idea, maybe pick out some courses I wanted to play. And now that I started it and I'm back from my trip, um, it's kind of fun going through and um, playing some of these courses that I actually played while I was there just uh, a few weeks ago. So we're going to give this a go. Um, this one is the Pensacola course. So I already did Destin. Um, that was before my trip. That was the last championship that I recorded back here. Just played the Four Wallen course, and now this is the Pensacola, which I believe I played twice while I was there in my last trip. I played Bonifay twice. The first time I played, it was with um, it was me, my buddy TK that I went with, uh, my other friend Matt, who was down there, and Matt's dad. I didn't record it. Um, just wanted to kind of enjoy the round. I played 135 holes when I was there and recorded everything besides those two or that round of 18. But I believe we did Pensacola to Destin. And then I went back by myself um, a few days later and I played Fort Walton to Pensacola, I believe. I got kind of the names mixed up. There's so many golf courses there with all different kind of names. Um, sometimes I get a bit confused with what I actually did and didn't do. But I believe this one has a pretty cool... Um, and challenging and just cool layout wise um, ninth hole so we'll see if I uh, am correct with that and kind of looking forward to it and also not so much looking forward to it because it is a uh, pretty challenging layout wise hole but Garmin Approach R10 behind me on a DIY level stand Country Club Elite map, DIY stance map Callaway Super Fast Balls, 10 by 7 nets Home tee here you're seeing within the Garmin Golf app and here we go first hole, par 4 Three nine eight. Again, go check out those first two videos I did. They should be the uh, previous two Garmin videos that are up on the channel. Um, changing around a couple things. Changing with my stance, opening up my stance. Um, basically adjusting my grip a little more towards a neutral fade bias as much or to reduce um, a little bit of the uh, big duck hook left. It'll still happen, but basically neutralizing that a little bit with the stance. Doing a little bit of... Uh, some different breathing over the ball and um, in my takeaway just a little bit of inspiration from Bryson Shembo there basically with that I'm just exhaling completely as I'm setting up for the ball kind of contracting my abs keeping my abs tight and then in the takeaway or right before it just kind of inhaling quickly and for whatever reason it seems like I can hit it a little bit harder swing it a little bit quicker a little bit more consistent I don't know if it's a placebo effect or not but that's what I'm doing and uh, change around my driver settings too to uh, reduce some of the big snappy duck hook lefts. But here we go. Low in the face, gonna be up the middle, turn over left. Not terrible, but low launch on it, so it's not gonna go super far. But we're gonna get some generous rollout in the fairway, so. 259. Not horrendous. Alright, 139 down one, so 138. This is either the upper end of a pitching wedge or I could go choke down nine. We'll try the pitching wedge, see what happens. Usually play it to about 130, 135, so this is asking a little bit much for it, but we'll see.
very toey. That's going to be up and to the left, but looks like I got enough on it to at least get it on the green. Not great, not terrible. We're on. Should be a par. It always surprises me how I can pop him up and hit him. That wasn't like super, super high in the face, but definitely not where you want it, like a groove towards the bottom of the club. But I've been playing him so far back in my stance, it always surprises me how I can still pop him up playing him that far back, which feels unnatural because for the first couple years I was playing, I would just pretty much play everything towards my front foot. So moving it back to maybe I just need to have my hands a little bit more forward. I don't know, but that always kind of surprises me. Again, I don't know why with this Bonifay course, it's the same thing as the Fort Walton. There's only two tee box options here in Home to Hero, men's and women's, but in real life, there's like six or seven tee boxes. You can see some of those in front of us. So kind of strange they don't give you them when they have them basically in the graphics and in the mapping, but you can't select them for whatever reason. I don't know what's up with that, but second hole, par four, 405. One thing I did notice too, um, I hit balls a week or so ago. Didn't hit them great, and I had the R10 out here. It was the first time swinging in two weeks. Didn't hit them great, kinda is what it is. Came out a few days ago now at this point, and um, I didn't set the R10 up. I was just working on feel and just hitting balls. I brought out a big bucket of balls and was just hitting balls. And I was trying to get after some of them and going harder. And it felt like I kind of pulled something in my back a little bit. And that's another reason why um, that was before I started experimenting with some of that breast stuff and contracting my abs. It seems like with me having my abs a little bit tighter right before the takeaway and out of dress, um, I'm uh, protecting my back, it seems like, a little bit more. Don't get as fatigued in my lower back, it seems like. Pretty close to the center, which is going to be up the right. We'll see if it comes back. It's probably just going to kind of start right, stay right. At least it's pretty straight. Actually came back a little bit, but that's a welcome sight, considering I've been overcooking everything left. Got to do some more speed training, I think. 147. Um... Down once, 146. It's gonna be a choke down nine. Swiped across it, I popped it up. That's probably gonna be short right. And, ooh, we got a lucky bounce, but it's still short, right? I think it's going to be a plus three. That's my only worry about opening up my stance and adjusting my grip. I do something like that, and I go back towards my old ways of hitting a high spinny slicey ball out to the right. But, you got to kind of live with it, I guess, if you're trying to eliminate the big duck hook lefts. Sometimes that's going to happen, and hopefully most of the time, 75% of the time, it's a little more straighter. All right, or a little more straight. That was a very good English. One over through two, third hole, par three, one, six, four, down seven. So that brings us to one, five, seven. Um, I guess we're going to go nine. Luckily, there's some grass and there's that bunker there. So even if I come up short and I don't hit it great, it should still be dry. Um, I could go smooth eight. I don't know if I'm starting to lose some speed, considering I've already played 18. This is going on 27 now. And we'll see if I play one more after this, but oh. uh. there is no way I deserve that. That's a did I do my math wrong? 
171 yard skull job, nine iron. I don't know how that was even possible, how I even got remotely close to the green. I thought that was gonna be wet. That was very generous from Humpty Hero. Which usually means I'm gonna get pretty unlucky here coming up, but that was pretty crazy. Um, fourth hole par five, we'll see if we can not do that again. Considering there is water up there on the right, I'm gonna favor this left side just a little bit. I feel like I gave it a run, but that was low helium left. That's the miss I'm trying to eliminate. Granted, I tried to put a little bit extra on that one, so kind of got a little off balance, but at least it's dry. Now we got tree trouble, and we still got water to contend with all the way up the right. So, 265, plus it's going to be another 26, 27, because we're in the rough. So, I'm just going to hammer, hopefully, my four hybrid somewhere up there. May catch the tree. We'll see what happens. decent contact but it was healing and I pulled it left looks like we get away with it though that was hit decent so how much did I have off of it 26 27 so that was like 230 a little bit healy a little bit low but that was a little bit better that's one of the four hybrids I hit today which says a lot about the other two 66 yards down one I want to approach wedge. This is kind of a in between, a little touchy distance here, but we'll see if I can get it right. Made decent contact with it. Hopefully, it's not too much. And it's way too much. Sit. Nope, that's not what you want. Is that going to be a plus three? Yep. Not the best distance control there, folks. Not the best. Tweaked my right elbow on that four hybrid shot, or somewhere around there. That's when I felt it. Feels a little weird. I feel like it needs to like pop. <sighs> All right. Fifth hole, par three, two over, one four one. Um, I'm gonna go choke down nine. Could possibly muscle up a pitch once you get it there, especially if I hit it thin. But I'm gonna try to put a better smooth swing on a nine. Should be decent, I think. Hopefully I didn't take too much off of it. Go. And I did. That was a smoother swing though. I always wonder about those, because sometimes I choke down and I try to put a smooth swing on, and funny enough, when I choke down and swing easier, I make better contact and it goes almost as far as a full nine. So I tried to kind of baby that one there and took a little bit too much off of it, but is what it is. Brings us to three over. Sixth hole, par five, four, nine, one. All right, a lot of water again. Oh man, don't love the way my 
right elbow feels right now. Feels like I somehow overextended it. Maybe a three round day. Unless it pops and kind of goes back into place, but feels a little bit not great right now. That's pretty far right. That could be wet. Get down. Well, that's what happens when you uh, open up your stance, adjust your grip, and adjust the driver settings. That wasn't even a block, right? That was a block slice. But I guess I gotta live with that for the time being. Ideally, what I, my thought was if I would be able to kind of open the face with all the different settings and whatnot enough to where I can have almost the face being so far open, I can release my hands and release the club really hard and still get it to be relatively straight and not have to worry about overdoing it like I have been way far left. But I don't know, clearly that one <laughs> didn't release it enough. At least we're dry though. Two, four, three left, but we're in the rough. So we're gonna aim right here and I need 243 down two, but it's gonna be plus basically 24.3. So, not gonna get it there, but hopefully just put a good swing on it and get a uh, little wet shot into this. little bit thin it's gonna be low but it's gonna be right up the middle hit it halfway decent again it's not gonna get there but that was hit better all right pretty close to 240 ish on that one trending in the right direction at least I chunked the you know what out of the first two four hybrids I hit um, that last one was decent, or the one before I just hit that one, and then that one that I just hit, this shot, was the best one yet. 240 for a day like today, how cold it is, how bundled up I am, etc. And I haven't already played um, 18 holes before this. That's about as good as I can hit that one. Still a little bit low, but I'll take that all day long. 28 yards, down one. I'm gonna go 56 for the first time today. Let's see if I can take just a couple yards off my 30 yard shot here. I don't know if I put enough on it straight, but. All right, just barely. Again, that was another one of those I hit just before the ball and it kind of drop kicked into it, but. I was worried I swung too easy on that. Birdie. That helps. All right. Seventh hole, par three. 189. Up one. 190. Hmm. That's either a really, really well struck seven iron. It would have been a seven with my old Sim 2s, but I think I'm going to go six iron. And not try to absolutely clobber that seven. <laughs> Hit it pretty good. Hopefully it's not too much. Wow, it's fading a lot. I didn't have that. Granted, again, I'm opening up my stance and swinging a little bit more across it versus through it and out to the right. But that came off pretty straight. That was a tad right, and I thought, if anything, that would have actually drawn back a little bit. Didn't have that one fading that much, but granted, we got lucky on that one other one, so that could have been some, kind of some payback from the Garmin. Possibly a little bit of a misread there, but it is what it is. 
And just like that, we give a bird, get a birdie and give it back. Next hole. Eighth hole, par four. All right. Stupid elbow. I don't know what I did. Got some generous rollout though. I'm curious what that one was. 102, 146, and that was pretty healy and low. That wasn't the best contact in the world, but I have been trying to swing a little more freely and kind of go after it a little bit more off the tee. So, forgiveness right there, I suppose. 150 into the screen, down four. Um, Gonna go smooth nine. Ah, I chunked it and pulled it left. Get a lucky bounce. It's not going to. I think I'm trying to steer it too much. I gotta just hit the ball and let it go. 22 yards in the rough, so I need another 2.2. Gonna go 56. Should be decent. Should be right at it. If anything, it's going to be a little bit long. Or in. Knew it was going to be right at it. That was dead straight. If that didn't hit the pin, that probably would have rolled outside of the inner circle because that was coming in a little bit hot. But that works. Can't complain about a chipping for Bird. All right. Ninth hole, par five. Yeah, so look how crazy this hole is. This is... Wow, we're way back here, too. This is a crazy hole on course. So... It looks a lot flatter than it is, but you could like kind of go this way, but then there was water. So you had to play it way out here and then go way back to the right. In the green, there's like probably a 30 yard slope from the cart path up top all the way down to the green and everything funnels from, can I zoom? Or if you look up here, so like this hill up on like behind, behind the green, it slopes all the way down and everything funnels down and it's a pretty tiny green. And a couple times I played, the pin was like front right or like middle right, and everything funnels way down towards the water. So pretty crazy um, finishing hole on this one. Well, aim right there. Low and left and Healy, it'll be fine, but that's not what I'm looking for. I can feel myself getting fatigued, but like I said, I think the tightening up of my abs at a dress and whatnot, my lower back actually doesn't feel too bad. Usually at this point, it's kind of screaming at me. It is a little bit sore, but not too bad. All right, 224 up four. 228. Luckily, it's par 5. I think I'm going to try the 4-iron. And 
I'm gonna favor the left side of this green. We'll see what happens. Thin, but I hit it pretty hard. It's gonna fade. Should be up there though. I don't know if it's gonna get there, but swiped across it. All right, bunker shot. Twenty-five up to, and we're in the bunker, and it looks like a steep one. So this is gonna come out pretty soft. Um, 27, and then we need another at least 5, maybe even 10. So, I'm going to go 56 and play about 35 or so. I almost shanked it. Well, better to be lucky than good. For whatever reason with these wedges, I need to open up the face more. That one was really close from blading it out to the right. But, I got it to work. Alright, so, from the final course here at Bonifay Country Club, this was again the Pensacola course, we ended up with a 1 over 37. So, scorecard kind of all over the place very up and down round only two pars the rest were bogeys and birdies but I mean I guess it evens itself out had some pretty good shots or I should say had some pretty bad shots in there we mixed in a few decent ones um, somehow we hit four out of six fairways we'll take that greens regulation we'll take that all day long eight out of nine um, I'll credit that to the more consistent more controllable p770s and p790s Really big fan of these clubs. This was a, uh, so far, so good. Um, really good decision. Upgrading from the Sim 2s to these. And then 18 putts, so right at 2 putts a hole. But not too bad. Um, didn't expect a whole lot. I think I felt my elbow still a little bit sore. I somehow, like, hyperextended it. Um, I did feel it. Um, one of those times when I was going like that, it kind of hopped a little bit. So it's still a little bit sore. But I think it kind of moved back into place a little bit. So I'm going to play one more executive, I think, and give it a go. First time I've been out here in a while. Um, and it is fun just hitting those P770 irons and dialing those in. So the executive course coming up next should be mostly par threes, only one or two par fours, if any. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like always, if you have any course requests you'd like to see me play of your choosing, just give me the uh, name of the course down below in the comments. The location of it i'll double check it within home to hero here and then preferably when you give me those two things just give me a little bit of background information of why you want me to play it whether it's a uh, course you played in the past whether it's your home course your uh course you're traveling to maybe in the future whatever the case may be just let me know um i like having a little bit of background information not only just for me but so i can relay the information to uh the other people watching these uh stupid videos so um shout out to all you guys that continue watching these stupid videos. Um, like I always say, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the next course.